make a living playing this game And I thank the Lord above every time I can I get to be a fisherman Hey guys, welcome to the show. Water is dropped on the Chicago River. We're almost back to regular, the regular level. Right now we're starting out fishing this weed line. As you can see, the weed line goes straight up ahead, and there's nothing on the outside. It's because the drop is going to drop steep like this. The fish are going to stay suspended along this weed line and posi position themselves against the current this way so they can get all the food that's coming down the river, alright? So all the shad, all the crayfish, all the leeches, everything. All, everything that's coming down the river is going to have to come through right here. The bass are positioned on this, facing this side, so they're positioned in the weeds, looking this way, and they're going to be able to hit every single bait fish or whatever comes this way. Great ambush predators, and that's why I'm fishing this side of the weed line and not this side. Hopefully we get some bass. I'm going to start with a power bait crayfish lure A lot of short strikes. So what we're going to do is we're going to almost cut this bait in half. Alright, I just ripped it. Oh no, you just ripped your plastic. <laughs> yes, I did. And now we're going to rig it this way, alright? Because I'm getting a lot of short strikes. Not sure if it's smaller fish or if the fish, the bigger fish, are just more lethargic there. Now we got the hook more towards the end here. And uh, now let's see. Right there, a fish just jumped. Looked like a carp. Unless it was my 10 pound bass. Hey, hey. Always gotta have a little hope. That's Neil right here. He got caught in a tree. <laughs> but what else is new? This is Neil S. Getting his favorite species, the weeds. Again, if you wanna if you wanna do any type of weed fishing, contact Neil at PokerGuy45 at Yahoo.com. Beautiful largemouth bass, guys. Got him on a spinnerbait. He's fishing these weed lines right here. He came right out, right out in front of me and just snatched it. I've seen everything with the polarized glasses. Beautiful fish, guys. Let's go and release this guy. Let me hold this down. I know you don't like the camera angles. Sorry, guys. Beautiful bass. Let's throw him back in there. Alright, guys. We're just getting ready to leave. Got another bass on a spinnerbait. It's a lot fatter one. This is about a 14-inch fish. It's a beautiful largemouth. All right, I'm gonna get you back in this angle. I block the sun out from you. For the ah, it's a beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Again, he hit by the weeds right here, and um, again, he was on the white striking spinnerbait. Beautiful bass, guys. Alright, let's go release him. 
beautiful fish, guys. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the show. Um, this is an overall review of what happened today. We we left at 5:30. We got there about six, and we had to fish to eight, so we had a time limit. Um, we fished the Foster Discharge on the Chicago River for a while. I'd say the majority of the time, and things didn't look too good. I mean, I had an idea of what I wanted to do. I thought I had a pattern figured out. I thought I figured. I thought I had an idea of where the fish are going to be positioned. Um, I really believe that the fish are going to be in the weeds today, so that's why I stuck strictly to that one area. Um, couldn't get any takers there, so we tried for carp for a little while. We did get a few taps. Um, we definitely could have caught them if we put our time in, but again, we were on a time limit today and we wanted to get some fish on film. So we moved further upriver. We found, we found some more weeds. Actually, I mean, they looked really, really good. I switched to a spinnerbait and I was fishing vertically. I was actually jigging the spinnerbait. I wasn't throwing it out and reeling it in like um, I would usually do or someone would usually do with a spinnerbait. I was just literally jigging it like I would do a regular pe a regular plastic. Um, the fish were there. The, they were positioned. I mean, you had to hit the fish like literally in front of their face. If you hit it in back of the weeds, I mean, I, I had to fish the whole weed in a circle in order for it to get one fish out of there. Um, we, I managed two last minute fish to, uh, and, and, and the outing, but it was, it was an overall good day. I mean, I, I figured out a pattern, a little upset we had to go, but uh, you know, there's, there's always next time. Um, fishing was great though, and thanks for watching the report guys. I, I appreciate all the feedback, and I hope you enjoy the videos. If there's any improvements at all you can give me advice on on these videos, just let me know, and I'm definitely willing to make these videos better, and I definitely want to make these videos better. Thank you guys, and have a great weekend. Niggas survived the worst, but my life is glorious Whoa. Better know that I leave that be hurdle and I'm so victorious Whoa. Take a look, I'm a symbol of greatness, not calling nigga Morpheus yeah. As for securing the win, better believe I'm 